all right guys welcome back to another video um i'm at the industrial estate at the moment um i'm just going to pop to the new spot with the aim of rub bricking the curb there so i've got myself a brand new rub brick uh, you know it's not cheap like 20 22 quid what else have i got paintbrush for this stuff yacht varnish so yeah good stuff what else have I got? So I've got a mask. So I'm trying to get this all done while the weather's still okay. I've got like a week or two week window, I think, until the weather's really going to shift. So to get a sweat on with the rub brick, and this is a uh, heavy work. So I'm going to be sweating away. But yeah, this is very important for that because there's loads of, uh, you know, concrete, just dust everywhere. Anyway, let's go to it. My phone's bound to slip out of the holder there. But, uh, anyway, yeah, so it's quite a nice little industrial estate. There's a few little spots. We've got my usual curb back there. And this one's just around the corner, basically. So, yeah, we've got just about enough sunlight, about two hours sunlight. And this unit here is actually vacant, as far as I can see. So, give it a little sweep off. Maybe not. There's a caravan here at the end. I hope there's nobody living there. There might be. Might be someone's living here deal. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. There's a caravan there. Maybe there's someone living here now. Yeah, I'm going to give this a... Uh, let's skate around a little bit and keep an eye on it. Uh, none of the roof outlets are open. Oh, yeah, that's all I can be bothered to do right now. Uh, so many is that? One, two, three, four, five. That's good to go. I'll show you what the problems are, because uh, as with any curb, it's pretty much impossible to find a perfect one, I think. So yeah, I'll show you the troubles. So we're all good here. Yeah, just a bit of a fill here. That's fine. Uh, a little bit of a divot here. Might be all right. It's a bit rougher here as well, we'll have to do that a bit more. A little bit of a dink here, all good. Filling that gap nice and easy. Filling that gap nice and easy. And then we've just got this here as well, needs filling. And then just up here, needs a bit of filling. It's a bit sort of, I don't know if you can really see. Yeah. Yeah, the other thing with this spot is obviously there's a nice bright light there but i'm not using that area um a bit dark here but two lights there but not one there which would have been good because i don't know so i've done from there all the way up to there so i think that's I'll maybe do one more. It's got quite a big divot there. Uh, in the end, I decided to rub brick more of it, make it a really long section. And I also came back a couple of times to rub brick the whole length again. So I probably rub bricked it about three times to get it extra smooth. Um, 
Yeah, and also I got loads of the moss off, cleared it up here as you can see. Yeah, I just decided to have a little skate before I went home. The floor's quite smooth here, you know, for me. Just having to go at these sort of foot plant 180s. So yeah, yeah, really enjoyed having a go at these. And here's me getting the, uh, the thumbnail. And this is the kerb with all of the divots and gaps filled with the steel stick. So quite a bit of money I've spent on this kerb, cleaning it up, a lot of effort as well, but um, it was worth it. You'll see at the end of the video. And here it is finished. I put two coats of the yacht varnish on and waxed the hell out of it. And uh, yeah, it's sliding really well. So yeah, really, really chuffed with this. Yeah, so I'm just taking it easy on the kerb for now. You don't really want to be slapping into it with crooks yet. You just want to let the wax build up first. You don't want to damage the kerb yet. So yeah, so I'm really looking forward to more sessions at this kerb. So good stuff. Go out there, sort your own kerb out guys. Yeah, so really, really happy to have found this spot and really happy to be able to do it properly this time. You know, obviously you make mistakes in the past and you sort of, you just learn as you make mistakes. So that being that I rub bricked it really, really thoroughly about three times, lots of sweat, lots of hard work. Um, and then I still sticked all of the gaps really, really well. Um, just learning from experience of how to do it. And then I sanded down the steel stick as well at the end, thoroughly. And then two coats of yacht varnish, and then a ton of golf wax. I managed to get some golf wax, which is paraffin wax. Um, yeah, so it's a really, really good spot. Like I said, it's lit up. The ground's relatively smooth. There's never any cars parked there. So, you know, just hope it lasts for a while. But yeah, anyway, cheers for watching the video, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.